It's the one thing we all are dreaming of. The Wagner says life has moved along. And she's singing in its evening song. Given a chance, she chews romance the whole night long. What time you in work, God damn it? Did you hear me, love? Yes, ma. About a half hour. Oh, that's all right. You won't have to rush this, though. See, there's a new shop after opening up in the main shopping centre. Just what we need. A new feckin' shop. It's called Fuller Fashions. Is it? I'd say you'd love it. Oh, would I know? They do lovely dresses for fat women. <laughs> Why would I like that? Well, in case you want to get something nice for Winnie. True. Yeah, it's very good. You weren't suggesting for a moment that I might be good in to try on some extra large garments. Jesus, no, ma. You'd be far too slim for the likes of that. I know, I would, I would, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was nearly fucking rabbit season. <laughs> Are we finished? All done and dusted. And I did the dusting. Oh, sir, a few. Well, all I can say, lads, you were cheap. I mean, you were great value. Now, can we go and see it? Oh, come on, then. Close your eyes. <laughs> In pink. I told you that's the first thing you'd notice. <laughs> Thanks, love. Ta-da. What's this? We are invited to the opening of Foley's newly refurbished lounge. It's tomorrow, it just came. Really? Was there a check with that? No, you leave that to me. He was delighted with the job he did in that bar. Well, he's not going to be too delighted when he says what Rory and Dean have done with the interior design of it. Why? What's it look like? A brazzer's bedroom. How do you know what a brazzer's bedroom looks like? <laughs> here, Betty. It's Bannawal, right? He was in here before school this morning and, well, he seemed a bit odd. Yeah. It's the sex education he's doing in school. Oh. It's about time you had that fatherly chat with him. You're joking. I'm not. It's better he hears it off you than off the street. So do it, and soon. (sighs) Catty. Yeah? Can I tell you something? Sure. I have an itch. An itch? What kind of an itch? An embarrassing itch. You should see someone. I don't need anyone. I can feck and scratch it myself. Mammy! What? You should see a doctor. I will. As soon as this thing in Foley's is finished, I will. Mammy! Yes, love. Did you ever wonder what Daddy saw on you? What kind of a fucking question is that? No, I don't mean anything bad. 
I just wondered what you thought Daddy saw when he looked at you. I don't know, Cathy, eh? I suppose it depended on when it was. I think in the kitchen he saw his mother. And when we were out together, he, he always saw his girlfriend. <laughs> and then in the bedroom, he saw a complete brasser. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Do you know, Cathy, sometimes I wonder, did he ever see me at all? Right, I'd better get these down to Foley's. Are you coming down? Yeah, I'll see you down there. Right, I'll see you down there. Cathy, if it's any help, I only ever worried about what I saw when I looked at myself. And I saw a fine thing. Back then. Ah, uh, now, Mammy, you're still a fine-looking woman. I know, I just said that to cheer you up. I know. <laughs> Even with the extra weight. Are you two ready? Have you got money? Yes, Mrs. Brown. Where are we going again? Down to Foley's. They're having the official opening, and we've been invited down for a free drink. And they've got someone really famous to open it. Who the fuck is he? And I'm delighted to declare this wonderful traditional bar, Fagan's. Foley's. What? Foley's. Yes, I'm delighted to declare this wonderful traditional bar, Foley's, officially open. <laughs> so, are you excited, Sharon? Ah, yeah. Nervous, but it'll be a fabulous day. I love weddings flowers and all and there's a real sense of occasion yeah but simple Maria I want my wedding plain and simple I don't want anything to overshadow how handsome Corny is <laughs> yeah I know what you mean simple still who are you getting for your wedding arranger wedding arranger I wasn't going to have one. Oh, you have to have a wedding arranger. You just have to. Jesus, who would I get? Well, you're going to need somebody with vision. Somebody who wants everything to be just perfect for you. Somebody with a, an eye for detail and, and, of course, taste. I mean, you have to have taste. Would you do it for me, Maria? Me? Oh, God, I couldn't. It's a very big responsibility. I mean... Could I? You're dying to, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> You're on. Nice chandeliers, Mr. Fowley. Ah, uh, thanks, Dermot. 500 euros each they cost me. Tell you, what do you think of the pink? Pink? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I see it now. I never noticed it. <sighs> Where? So, Louis. Willie. Sorry, Willie. What is it you do? Seriously? Yes. I manage boy bands. Parazone? Get out of that. I'm their manager. Who are they? Where have you been for the last ten years? Fingless. Mammy, Parazone and Get Out of That are world famous. They're like Boyzone. Boyzone? Oh, yes, she said. Chicka chicka. No matter what they tell. Thanks, Mr. Fowley. New glasses? Yeah. 80 cents each they cost me. And I tell you, Mark, can I fix you up next week? Not my department, Mr. Fowley. Bet you looks after all of that. I better pay her tomorrow, so. <laughs> I tell you, what do you think of the pink? Pink? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Very nice, yeah. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Mother of the vine, Jesus. Here, give us a gig, will you? Well, Cornelius, here's to you and your last few weeks as a single man. Fair play to you. Here's to you on the bike. 
Uh, Sharon. <laughs> oh, thanks, lads. I'm so happy. Sharon's thrilled she doesn't have to, you know, join up. Join up? Yeah. Didn't you know Sharon was going to be a nun? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. She has no more. Yeah. Betty wants me to have a sex talk with Bono. Good luck with that. I had a friend, and his dad told him to put his finger on the top of his head like that, and run all the way down, and the first hard thing he meets, put that where she does her wee-wee. Took him all day to get his head out of that toilet bowl. Easy money, but isn't it, Roland? Willie, it's Willie. Mummy. Sorry, Willie. It's all right, Katie. Kathy. Sorry, Willie. I'm just saying, the boy band thing, it's easy money. Mrs. Brown, do you really think it's easy? Yes. You think you can put any bunch of lands together and it all just happens? Yes. I mean, anyone could do it. Do you think you can do it? Of course. Right, I'll make a bet with you. <laughs> Certainly. Mummy, uh, maybe you should think about this. No, sure, I have this, Kelly. I have this. Go on, watch the bet. What's your favourite charity, Mrs. Brown? The St. Francis of Assisi Home for Retired and Bewildered the Greyhounds and Whippets. Oh. Anyway, here's what I'll do. I will give you 50,000 euro of my own money if in six months you can put together any bunch of lads and make them into a boy band and get them into the top ten in six months. Oh, uh, okay, but, but what, what if I lose? You can clean my house for a month or maybe clip my toenails. Dirty bastard. Okay. It's a bet. I'd start me auditions tomorrow. No, no, no. Wait a minute. You said any bunch of lads, didn't you? So I'll pick them. Oh. From this bar. We'll have him and him. I think we'll take him and most definitely him. And what about him over there? No freaks, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Well, good luck with that, Mrs. Brown. Thank Wish you. you the best of luck. Kathy? See ya. Loser. Uh... Mummy, what have you done? What? I give him a hundred yard start. My Jesus. He should give herself a Brazilian with a fly mo. Hey, Ma. Hello, son. Cup of tea? No, thanks, Ma. Having time. What's up? No, I wanted to talk to you about arrangements for the burial. For Spartacus. I want to get it done by the weekend. I don't want it to interfere with the rehearsals from my band. Ma, I never asked the vet to hang on to her once he, you know, put her down. He might not still have her. I'll check. Do. I thought we might bury her down the end of the garden. Besides where we buried your rabbit. Daddy said he gave my rabbit to a farmer. And a nice farm, where he'd be happy and he'd have other rabbits to play with. No, he killed him. It was very quick. Little hammer. Boom. <laughs> so what do you think? Weekend? Barbara, get that phone. break. Well, everybody's busy, so get off your break and get the phone. Take it. I heard that, Barbara. Hello? 
Hello, wash and blow. How are you, Mrs. Brown? Rory, it's for you, your ma. Chlamydia? No, I don't think it's chlamydia. I'm sure I went on holiday once to chlamydia. Hmm. Hello, Mammy. Yeah. Alzheimer's? Oh, don't you talk to me about Alzheimer's. My mother is Irish Alzheimer's. She forgets everything, except a grunge. Oh, Mammy, that's brilliant. Dina will be delighted. Great news, Dino. You know Mammy is doing a boy band? Yeah. Well, she wants you and me to be the band's designers. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, love. Or por favor, as they say in chlamydia. You've all been handpicked. The cream of your profession. You are going to become the greatest boy band ever. Children will look up to you. Men will admire you. Women will want to have your children. Most of you. And it all starts here. Oh, we've a lot to do. Videos to shoot and recordings to make and press conferences. But we start next week with our dance routine. Ma, are you serious about this? I'm in... boy band. Yes, I'm sure. Anyway, you have to play the hand that feeds you. And a bet's a bet. Do we even have a song? Yes, well, nearly. Uh, Dermot started one. Uh, Dermot, play the much you've written so far. Listen to this. Listen, listen, listen. Bring. One second. That's it so far. <laughs> How do we dance to that? It's not finished yet. It's going to be longer than that. I should fucking hope so. I think it's brilliant, Damon. Thanks, Buster. Yeah, well, he's all late tomorrow, you know, to work on it. This is going to be a disaster. Mark! Mark! No way! Mark, son, come back! He'll be back. He'll come around. Jay, is there only other getting together on the band splitting up already? Well, I can't wait for the comeback tour. <laughs> Play it again, Demo. So, who's on the invitation list? PJ Nolan. Wanker. Nelly O'Brien. Bitch. Bomber McCarthy. Shite bag. Me cousin Gerard. The alcoholic. He's not an alcoholic. Winnie. The last time he gave a urine sample, I bet you there was ice and lemon in it. Should be a good nice. Should be. Here. You never mentioned your cousin Patrick. None of the family are talking to him. They took away his licence to practice. What? He was caught sleeping with one of his patients. Oh, Winnie, that's disgusting. Ah, he wouldn't be the first doctor to do that now. Winnie, he's a fucking vet. <laughs> well, did you have a look at some of the brochures I gave you? Uh, yeah. I mean, some of the hotels are fab. The Kooky Lodge, I mean, they do ice carvings of swans and all. Yeah, Maria, you know I want it kept simple. Plain and simple. Of course. But even one swan, I mean, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think Sharon wants to have it somewhere local. Am I right, Sharon? Yeah, exactly. But the Kooky Lodge is the nearest hotel. It doesn't have to be a hotel, Maria, does it, Sharon? No, not a hotel. Not a hotel? Let me think. No, wait. Not here. Well, you know. Sharon McGugan, you're not having your wedding in this fucking dump. I mean, this dump. No way. Wait a minute. I have a great idea. Why not have it here? In Foley's. Maria, that's a great idea. 
Wait, no. It's probably too expensive. Well, how was the food, girls? Mm, lovely. Maria was just saying that this place would be lovely for Sharon's wedding, but it's probably too dear. I mean, you'd hardly be able to drop your prices to have a couple of hundred people here between three o'clock and closing. Ah, Sharon McGugan, how could you think I'd charge you too much? Sure, didn't you have your own christening here? And the following year, your man and dad's wedding. Well, I'm the wedding arranger. Would you like to talk, Mr Foley? Maria, step this way into my office. Oh, thanks, girls. I didn't know what to say to her. These were great. Just what I'd expect from me bridesmaids. Bridesmaids? I'm having three. You two are my picks. I mean, Mammy is insistent I have me cousin from Donegal. Not Barbie. Yep, Barbie. Who's Barbie? You were about to find out. Come on, we've 15 minutes to get to the train and meet her. Barbie is Sharon's cousin. She thinks she's in the IRA or something. A rebel. Has she not heard about the peace process? Good Friday agreement and all that? Miss Baghdad Barbie. Why do they call her that? You, Sharon? No, Barbie. Me followed? No. All right, Kathy. How are you? So who's this then? I'm Betty, Mark Brown's wife. Mark's wife? Fine man, Mark. Nice fancy, you know, before I became a lesbian. Freedom fighter, Betty. Freedom fighter. I need a drink. Right then. Betty, get that bag and watch me back. Good morning, boys. Hello there. Very sexy. Shut up, giddy eye. That's my mother. Sorry. Right. Well, are we all ready for some action? Uh, Dermot, how's the song coming? Excellent. Play us a bit of what you've done so far. Listen, listen, listen. It's not easy, man. Uh, no. For fuck's sake! What are we supposed to practice to? I have the bass line and the drum track done. You can practice to that! Now look. We have a very busy week ahead of us. We have to record a song, we have to learn off to dance, and we have a video to shoot. We're shooting a video? Bounce, chicken, wow, wow. <laughs> There's more. In a couple of weeks, please God, I'm hoping to have you as a spot on a major TV show. Ma, you have to be kidding me. I'm not going on TV with this bunch. Mark, we, we burn that bridge when we come to us. In the meantime, it's time to start dancing. Now, you were very lucky. Rory and Dino have introduced me to a lovely woman. She's Russian, but she's here for a while. She's not only a dance instructor, but she was with the Bolshoi Ballet. And she will be designing a, a dance around Dermot's song. What fucking song? We don't have a song. Mark, I'm getting very negative vibes from you, and I don't like it. Now, please, 
Well, you're welcome, Nikita Cunningham. Hello, cosmonauts. <laughs> okay, I want you to stand on your balls of your feet. Actually, what is your name? Willie. Oh, <laughs> well, if you can stand on your balls and your willy, you have the gig. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Nikita, they have the gig. They're a band. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, are we all ready to groove? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hands up. Hands up! Who wants to trip the light fantastic eyes away to the moon? Fly me to the moon. Come on, fly with me. Fly with me, fly with me. Fly, fly, come on, Woo! fly, fly, fly. Shut! I am sinking. What about the robot? Shut your mouth, pig's breath. I am sinking. I have it. I have it. I have it. My soul, please. Come on, into line. Into line. Swan, carved out of ice. Are you having me on, Maria? How about a chicken, carved out of butter? I do great balloons. Would you like lovely balloons? Mr. Foley, if you really want this wedding, you're going to have to go all out. So then, Barbie, are you married? No. There was only ever one man for me, and it didn't work out. Right, girls, who's for another drink? Betty? No, I'm okay. So, Barbie, it didn't work out. Oh, that's sad. Is there no chance of you getting it together with this fella? Oh, go on, Betty, have something. No, oh, I'm grand, really. No, Betty, there's no chance. Well, I don't think so, anyway. Sure, didn't he go and marry you? Mark? Bitch! What? She's the one that asked. Who are you, girls? Who's this little beauty, then? What? Did you say little? Oh, shit, no, not a fucking hanky. Well, little in a good way, like... Little donkey. Little donkey. <laughs> guess that yeah well you see this is complicated you see oh, will you shut up sorry yeah uh, our dog was uh, put down here and 
Mima wants her back so she can bury her in the garden. Right, well, listen, describe the dog for me, will you? Uh, her name is Spartacus. Her name is Spartacus? Yeah. Here's Spartacus! Come on, girl! She's dead. Exactly. We've loads of dogs here. Now, will you describe, describe the dog? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, she's 14 years old. She walks with a limp. You're doing it again. Sorry. Uh, she's brown. She's a little scar on her nose. And she's foxed. Right, well, look, I'll have a look and I'll get back to you. Have you got a phone number? Yeah, it's uh, 055 55 55 555. This is a movie. Yeah. Oh, sure, I'll have a look and I'll get back to you. Cheers. Right, that's it then. Uh, All blacks. Lovely. Damn it. Did you get the Vaseline off the mantelpiece? I'll get it. Listen. What's that, man? It's the words to your song. I thought it might help. Thanks, man. Uh, you can read it when you go home. It's called Love on a Humpback Bridge. It's very good, actually. Carlos. Thanks very much for looking after them, Mrs. Brown. Oh, it was a pleasure, Maria. An absolute pleasure. I wish all my grandchildren were as good as them three. They're beautiful. Do you know, Maria, you're a fine mother. Thanks very much, Mrs. Brown. Thanks very much. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, hiya. Oh, Maria, I just had a peek at the triplets. They're only gorgeous. <laughs> Maria, can I ask you something? Sure, Mrs. Brown. Now, be honest. Am I fat? You could lose a few pounds. Well, you're no fucking twiggy yourself, are you? With your big hippo ass on you. Ma, what Maria means is... I know what she means. She says I'm fat. Well, yes, Mammy, you are. Well, not fat, but certainly overweight. Well, that's it. Gang up on fat, Mammy. Everybody puts on a few pounds every now and then, Mrs Brown. Sure, even Cathy will tell you. Look, Mummy, you just have to exercise a little bit to get back in shape. Yeah. But Mummy was always that shape. Well, maybe that's because Mummy delivered a big fucking lump like you. Dermot, wait outside. Yes, Dermot, wait outside. Slim Jim. Look, Mrs Brown, I had to work really hard to lose the weight after the triplets. Yeah, she did. Well, not that hard. Look, I'm on a diet. If you want, I'll copy it out and you can give it a try. And I'll design an exercise session just for you. Yeah. She have nothing to lose. Well, except a few pounds. Thank you, I will. I'll do it. I'll do the diet. And I'll do the exercises. Even though I see it hasn't fucking worked for you two. could have said, that's all. There was nothing to say. Well, that's not what she thinks. She can think what she likes. It's all in her head. Bitch. She made it sound like he's had gone out together. Well, I didn't say we didn't go out together. Right. Tell me every word. Second by second. And don't leave anything out. Look. It was Sharon's 21st. She came down for it. She had no one to go with. So Mrs. McGugan asked me would I take her. And I did. And? I took her to the party and that's that. Did you? Oh, Jesus, Mark, don't make me say it. No, I never did. I never wanted it. And I never want it now. So why would I go for a hamburger when I have a rasher at home? Steak, Mark, I'm a steak, not a rasher. <laughs> and I'm a T-bone. <laughs> so, this must be far play, is it? Yep. 
You have to have that talk. Are you all right in there, Agnes? No, Winnie. I think I'm fucking anorexic. <laughs> Three days. Three days I'm on this diet. And how do you feel? I'm fucking starving. Did you weigh yourself today? The scales is broken. Everyone on a diet thinks that. <laughs> no, really. I fucked it out the bathroom window yesterday. Hello, love. Hiya, Mammy. Hiya, Winnie. I get your cup of tea, love. Ah, stay we are, Mammy. I get it myself. Um, well, I was going to lick out the oven anyway. Mammy. Cathy, I can't do this diet. I've no willpower. Yes, you can, Mammy. I can't. I'm after finishing a whole packet of Rivita crackers in there. And then I ate the flickin' wrapper. And the wrapper was the nicest part. Ah, come on, Mammy. It's not that hard. It is. And let me tell you a secret. See that stuff? I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. It's not fucking butter. She has me drinking soya milk now. Ah, Cathy. Tastes like goat's piss. Who the fuck mentions soya? Come on, Mammy. You're doing great and you haven't long to go. Have I not? How long? Six weeks. <laughs> Right then, let's get started. We've some fabulous ideas we want to run past you. And here to present them is my partner, Dean O'Doyle, Esquire. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We would just like you to know that when choosing a look for you all, we were not thinking of just a band. Oh, no. We were thinking a successful band. Hmm. Now... Let's begin. Dino, Dino, Dino. Dino. Frances Byrne, Connie Ryan, and her sister Martina, all separated. Martina didn't even last a year, and the rumour is, they even tried to murder her. God, are any of your friends happily married? No, come to think of it, not even one of them. All men are shades and liars. I don't agree, neither do I. I'm telling you, Betty. You watch your back. Sooner or later, they all cheat. Not my mark. Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I told Corny that if he ever doesn't find me attractive or find someone else more attractive, all I ask is that he tell me that I'll fucking murder him and her. 
Well, I think you just have to trust them. What? Well, I believe that if you do, they'll value that. They won't betray it. Hmm. She did it again or fucking... Right, my round. And don't be talking about me when I'm gone. <laughs> and she was four. She ate the arm of my Cindy. So, Maria, how's the arrangements going? Great. I think Zala will be very happy. Four course dinner, coffee, and a round of drinks for the uh, for the toast. All for twenty five euro a head. Well done. Have you much more to do? No, I don't think so. If the car's booked, the flowers for the church are arranged. Simple, Maria. Plain and simple. No elaborations. I know. Plain and simple. So, what are the bridesmaids' dresses like? Simple, plain, and simple. Great. Well, listen, I want to have everything done so I can really enjoy the hen party. That's right. The hen's party? That'd be great, Craig. I'm going to get shit faced. Here, are we getting a male stripper? Do you want to buy a one arm Cindy? Jesus Christ, that's Cathy. I thought I could smell chips. Hello, love. Hiya, Mammy. Rory, it's a bit unfair bringing home chips when you know Mammy's on a diet. What? Here, no, here. Don't help me, you ah! tempt me, you bastard, you dirty bastard. Ah! Don't you give me bacon chips and me trying to lose a few pounds, you dirty bastard. Rory, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, love. Here, put them on. I'm sorry, love. Jesus Christ, love. It's just the way she gets so fucking bulgy. You know the way she does. Tea, Mammy. You dirty ah! To me. Yes, love, two sugars, please. You dirty pity and me trying to do, you big pudgy bastard. No, no, no. Chocolate cream cakes? Where? There. You're kidding me, Rory! How could you and your mother on a fucking diet? Well, if you want one, you can have one. We're late. We're gonna be late. We're late. We're late. We're late. We're not late, Barbara. Here, what was going on in there? Mammy, pretending she's sticking to the diet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girls, no hen parties. We're not a hen party. No hen parties. Aww. She said we're not a fucking hen party. Well, you're not getting in here. It plain and simple. For you, Cathy. Not for me. Daddy, take me to me groom. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I I'm the best man. Uh, <laughs> I hope you'll bear with me. It's a... Uh, it, it, it's not a very long speech, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> right. Uh, well, well down, down to business. <clears throat> well, what a cracking wedding, eh? Right. Um, 
lovely job that Maria's done here. I, I, I'd like to thank her for that. It, it looks absolutely super. Yeah, I, and also like to mention that the lovely refurbishment of, of, of Foley's bar here um, in, in pink. I, I think. Right. Um, right. Uh, uh, message now to, to Cornelius and Sharon. Oh, by the way, this is a bit of a joke. <laughs> As you slide down the banisters of life, may all the splinters be on the same direction. direction. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Well done, yes. <laughs> right, well, 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 really, that's, uh, that, that, that's my job done. So, uh, <laughs> so now I, I, I'd like to present to you, no, I will present to you, uh, uh, the groom. Cornelius! <laughs> um, I, I, I've never been lucky, ever. Uh, I, I know some people who are lucky sometimes, and, and I know some people who are lucky all the time. I, I know some people who are lucky at, at gambling. And, and I know some people who get lucky at sports. Um, never me. Uh, I love Sharon McGugan, and today, for the first time ever, I got lucky. <laughs> right, well, uh, that, that was lovely. Well, well, well done, Corny. Um, I have another joke. No! <laughs> no! That's probably a good call, that, actually, yeah. Uh, OK, n now, now to the, the bride's father, uh, uh, Jacko uh, Magoo Gan. Thank you. Well, I remember a long time ago she was this big. We bought the house, but I had to paint it. Uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, Lily! This is Aunt Lily. Auntie Lily. Oh. Oh, you're the mad one. Fuck off, you homo. Bonham. Listen, uh, your mother wanted me to have a talk to you about sex. Sure. What do you want now? Enjoy the rest of the parody song. Yeah, go away. Very good, very good, very good. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause. She's a bit off the chunk for Aunt Lily! Lily. <laughs> Hello. Hiya. Hello. You look great, Mrs. Well, I, I feel great, Lord. How I do? I'm feeling. I'm, I'm glad I only had the one, well, two drinks, <laughs> in case I have to drive home. Only two? Mm. You look marvelous yourself, love. Thanks. You never think you had riblets? <laughs> So, how's the diet going? Oh, don't fucking ask. It's gone. <laughs> I had a plate of cream cake this morning and, and a plate waiting for me when I get home. Does oh, that kill you, Mr. I Brown? don't give a shit. I will be carrying the fucking coffin. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know. I, I saw a, an upside down pineapple cake going around. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can suss it out, Maria. Keep that warm for me, look. Hello, son. Ah, oh, how are you, mummy? I'm great. Isn't it a great night? Ah, oh, it's fabulous. It's a credit to Winnie. Hey, Rory. Hi, hey, mummy. Hello, Hello, chicken. I was just saying to Rory that it... Who owns that cake? These piles m- must be at Mummy. What, love? I think we should get you some coffee. Oh, yes, let's go for a Starfuck. <laughs> Mark's looking well, isn't he? Who? Oh, Mark. My husband. Oh, are we getting a bit jealous? <laughs> Not of a tart like you. I wouldn't do that, Buster. Oh, Jesus, Mark, you don't know Barbie. Why did you just call me? A tart. T A R T. And you don't know my wife. Now, love, you just take a couple of fuck off tablets and calm down. Do you want a drink? Aye, all right then. Nice day, we need lovely day. Ah, thanks, Agnes. No, really, it was lovely. Listen, doesn't Jacko look well? Yeah. Mm. Oh, tell me, how's the boy's CD selling? 1500 sold so far. Is that enough to get into the charts? Sorry. I have to do something. Something big. What? I don't know, get him on Tuberty maybe, or Joe Duffy. Ah, Agnes, you could never tutor. Are you okay? Uh, wait a minute. You're that shy reporter, Johnny Tango. That's Chate, madam. Chate. Listen, love. S H I T E is shite in any language. Oh, I hope the newspapers don't get hold whoa, of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Newspapers. No need to be calling newspapers, dear. Is there anything I can do for you to maybe make up for this unfortunate incident? Actually, yes, there is. times. I don't care. Mark, you have to go. I'm not going. Mark, you can't let them go on the telly by themselves. They make a show of themselves. You are the best looking person in the band. Betty, who the fuck wants to see a 40 year old fucking boy band? I do. Welcome back to Shit A. Well, tonight there's still time to win that great prize by answering this question. What Irish man is the manager for Sunderland Football Club? Text your answers now to the Roy Keane competition at Shit A with Johnny Tango. Right. What would you do for your favourite charity? Cycle across the Himalayas. Maybe run a marathon naked. Quiet! Please! The lads are going to sing their song. Maybe not. Well, our next guest is doing her thing for her charity. Please welcome Miss Agnes Brown. Mrs. You're very welcome, Mrs. Brown. Or may I call you Aggie? No. Right so. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. You were born? 
Yes, I was. Where? Where were you born? Oh, um, uh, James Larkin Court in Finglas in ni- <coughs> 19... <coughs> and that would make you... Irish. Irish, ladies and gentlemen. Great. <laughs> How did this all come about? Well, you were reversing your car. And uh, I t- was... t- 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 Okay, the song and the charity. How did this all come about? And tell us about your uh, bedroom, Willie Walsh. Well, <clears throat> Willie Walsh said that if I could get my boy band into the top ten in the charts before Christmas, he'd give fifty thousand euro to my favourite charity, which is the St Francis of Assisi Home for Bewildered Greyhounds and Whippets. Fifty thousand, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Good man, Willie. Well, the song. Oh, and, and if I lose, I have to clean his house for a month and clip his toenails. Well then, the song is called Love on a Humpback Bridge? Yes, that's right. Uh, my son Dermot wrote it. He wrote two, but that's the one what we picked. What was the other one called? Uh, it was called, uh, we call it Puppy Love, but, but the authorities call it Bestiality. Okay, right, let's hear it then. Check it out. Mark Brown, Buster Brady, Cornelius Higginbottom, and Giddy I Fagan, collectively known as West Boys Life, with the charity single Love on a Humpback Bridge. Right, we're now fucking quits, right? Oh, yeah, no quits, no, 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 no. Don't fucking trick me, you ginger headed little bastard. I could only stand and watch you run across the park. Credit cards and mobile. I stood there in the breeze. Wondering where it all was gone. Pants around my knees. the new single everyone's talking about from a band called West Boys Life. I know nothing about it. Anyway, let's have a listen to it. This is Love on a Humpback Bridge. And left me there, standing bare, people left and walked on by. It could have been the stuff of dreams. I'm all alone, I can't get home, stuck in a humpback bridge. Love. Welcome back to SM FM. What have we got here? The new single from West Boys Life and they're gorgeous. So here I stand, an empty man, beneath the full blue moon. Every night, I'll pass it by, hoping you'll come back soon. Spies life. Love on a humpback bridge. Love on a humpback bridge. Love on a humpback bridge. And now it's time to take a break from our homework and listen to West Boys Life. Night of love, stars above. Isn't your daddy great? Yeah. He looks so handsome. I think I'll have a bath later on. I'm going to my granny tonight, aren't I? Yep. This love was just for me. Sing for a kitty eye. A summer's night by the waterside. 